friends, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make simple but delicious Greek pasta. This Greek orsa pasta is perfect to make any time of the year. It goes perfectly mostly with anything. It's healthy, delicious, and packed with flavors. I have everything set up and ready to go, so let's jump into it. We're going to start by bringing a large pot of water to a boil over medium-high heat. And once water comes to a boil, add about one teaspoon of salt and oil of your choice. Add pasta and cook for about nine minutes according to package instructions or until al dente. Meanwhile, we're going to slice some black olives. You can use green olives, but black olives taste so much better in this recipe. Next, we're going to chop some canned, drained artichoke hearts. You might want to chop them into small dice and set aside. Canned artichoke hearts have a pleasant, slightly sweet taste and a creamy texture than a fresh one. Then we're going to chop into small dice, roughly about the same size as artichokes, some marinated in oil sun-dried tomatoes and set aside. Cut a block of feta cheese into small cubes. I usually buy a block of feta cheese instead of a crumbled kind for the flavor and texture reasons. Take a few basil leaves and stack one on top of the other. Roll them together and slice basil leaves as thinly as possible and set aside. In a large salad bowl or mixing bowl, combine sliced black olives, diced artichokes, and diced sun-dried tomatoes and set aside. By this time, pasta should be cooked. Drain the pasta, do not rinse, and add the pasta to a salad bowl. Drizzle with some olive oil or oil of your choice and add plenty of salt and black pepper to taste. Gently toss everything together until combined. Add fresh basil and cubed feta cheese. Gently toss everything together. Do not overmix. We don't want to break feta cheese. You can use goat cheese instead of a feta cheese since both of these cheeses have similar taste and texture. At this point, pasta is ready to be served. You can serve it like this, but what I like to do, I like to transfer pasta into a beautiful dish, like serving dish or what I'm using here is just a plain baking dish. To make all the flavors pop, you can make this orzo pasta recipe up to a day in advance, but save the fresh basil and lemon juice to add the last minute. This pasta is so delicious. It's simple and it's easy to make, even your child can make it. Before serving, I like to drizzle it with some lemon juice. You can use lime, but for this dish, I noticed that lemon works the best. You can serve this hot or cold, whichever way you prefer, it will still taste delicious. I hope you'll enjoy this recipe. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more recipes and I will see you next time. Bye.